found this in my 2006 case. It's second best, but it usually means there's interesting things there. Do you like it? It's a new headphone, but it's very, very small and much, much neater than these great big old things here. Let me see if I can switch it on. There is a switch there, whether I can make any sound from it. We'll see. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. It's not a headphone, it's a torch. Yeah, okay. Well, it's uh, an ear torch, that's what they call it. Let's see if we can get up the camera and show it to you. It's very neat, this. It just needs three little AG13 batteries. There's a switch just here. Push it down, it turns it off. Push it up and it turns it on. It fits over the ear. My goodness me, and look how neat that is. Very, very clever bit of technology. Left or right ear? Well, I don't know about swivel ears. It probably does turn all, it doesn't turn all the way around. So I think it's this is a right right ear, a right-handed person, perhaps. But a nice piece that. Also from the same case is this extraordinary little thing which Gerard Darby sent me. I'll get that back on again so I can hear. That's right. So this is a little bird. I'll hold it by the tail so you can see it more clearly. It's supposed to be a, a pigeon, I suppose. Is it or a dove? I don't know. Let's see. And then it's got a little slip of paper inside it. Pull it out. What's it got in it? Well, it's, a, it's very tightly wrapped, but I did eventually manage to do it. So let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. That was Christmas of 2006. How about that? And it came in that. <laughs> Not an, well, an envelope as well, of course, but what a lovely idea. So the last item is one of these um, pen, these, these tapes, which are like tape measures with something else in it. Metamorphosis. And what this one's got in it, which is the, I mean, that's just the ordinary boring old figures, but this is much more interesting. Look at this. I'll hold one of these up to the camera. This is a celebration of dress and the changes of people's dressage, people dressing, not dressage, dressings, over about two centuries. And there's the first picture, the most recent, which is, uh, oh, 1990, I think it is. And now we're going to... And so we go on. Ah, 1950s. And so it's going to go on and on and on. I'll have to hurry a bit up, so we'll go back a century probably or more. That's what you got now. Ooh, that's all right. And a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. We'll leap back through the centuries. Wow. This, this is definitely a bit of celebration of style now about 1810 and keep going keep going a few more feet yet and now we're back to 7060 oh my goodness me and still a few more to go we're going back to the stone age i think no not quite what's this one here oops Daisy. that's 1720 and the last few oh the very, the very last one of all is this one here which is 1700 court dress complete with a crown. Oh yes, a king it must be. So what a beautiful piece of work this is. It's a very nice celebration of styles of dress art, dressing over ooh, two centuries or more. So I think this is a, a lovely souvenir piece, but when all said and done, it is just a tape measure. But there's a difference. <laughs>